Welcome to the Auslink for QuickBooks Packing Verification and ASN demonstration. Today I'm going to show you how to use Auslink to pack an order that resides in QuickBooks and generate an advanced ship notice via SPS Commerce. Here on the screen you'll see my QuickBooks order. To get started, I'm simply going to scan or type the order number into the Auslink toolbar. The Auslink packing verification screen will automatically come up. Here I can begin scanning my items in the boxes. So I'll go ahead, I'll get started, I'll scan my first item number. Auslink's going to validate that it's a good item for this particular order and put it into a box. Now we'll continue on and scan a few more items. And I can scan these items in any order that I want. Auslink will make sure that I'm only packing the appropriate quantity of the items that are on this order. Now I can select the box size. And I'm going to place these items into, and I'll close that box. And you'll notice on the top half of the screen, I can see the items remaining to be packed. Now, if I go ahead and I scan the next item, and it happens to be the wrong item, you'll see we'll get a warning message and tone to let me know that I've made a mistake. And click OK. We'll go ahead and we'll scan the next item. Now, in this case, on the top half of the screen, I can see that all of my items have been packed. So let's select a box size for that second package. We'll close that box. And now click Done to begin my shipping process. Because this was designated as a UPS ground shipment inside of QuickBooks, Auslink automatically populates the UPS World Ship software. Auslink can also be used with FedEx, the Postal Service, LTL carriers, even some regional carriers such as OnTrack or Purolator. Here inside of WorldShip, you'll notice the shipping address information, service level, and number of packages has automatically been populated for me by Auslink. So now I'll go ahead and select Process Shipment to print my UPS labels. Now as my UPS labels are printing, Auslink is also communicating with SPS Commerce to generate my advanced shipment notification labels. I can see a sample of those labels here. So if I'm the person in the shipping department, I'm going to get my two UPS labels and my two ASN labels. And then back inside of QuickBooks, the transaction, the sales order in this case, will be updated with the tracking information for the two boxes that we just processed. The last thing that will happen is Auslink will automatically upload the ASN information to SPS Commerce. So there's nothing that I need to do in the warehouse to send off an ASN to my trading partner. For more information, please visit ozdevelopment.com.